Hi, I'm Laura Burns. I'm from Omega Yeast, and this is your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. So the first class of compounds that we really honed in on at Omega Yeast are the hop thiol compounds. And that was mainly because we knew they were highly aroma impactful. We knew that we were going to get the most bang for our buck if we were able to introduce some of these or enhance some of these in beer. And if you're not familiar with thiol compounds, these are the kind of more signature compounds of New Zealand or Southern Hemisphere hop variety, or maybe more modern hop varieties like Citra, Mosaic, really driving into more of a tropical aroma. The key descriptors for these compounds would be passion fruit, guava, grapefruit, really an, another level of kind of even dank fruit in a, in a way. So when you're familiarizing yourself with these compounds, in isolation, it's really good to just get a feel for what passion fruit is. Some of the sensory tools we use in the lab, we, we actually get these isolated compounds and smell on them and, and start to familiarize ourselves through sensory. And, and then we start to see which yeast strains might be able to enhance those compounds in beer. And then when we get very far along in our project, not only are we looking for the sensory to give us good results, but we're looking for the analytical data to support how our strategy and how we've really taken an approach to enhance that aroma in beer. What are thiols? Thiols are extremely odorant, very high impactful aroma compounds. When we're talking normally about thresholds of aroma compounds in beer, we're usually talking about parts per million or parts per billion amounts. That's kind of in the range of what you'd expect out of an ester, or an L aldehyde, potentially, you know, the vicinal diketones or diacetyl would be in the parts per billion range. And you know that takes pretty sophisticated equipment to be able to measure those levels. We usually use mass spectrometers to get at that level of detection. Well, now we're talking with thiols, we're talking in the parts per trillion amounts. So these are very difficult to measure, but also in that range, that's what you're getting in sensory. That's how sensitive your nose is at identifying those compounds. So their aroma impact is huge. When we talk about thiol compounds in beer, you know, we would probably most likely refer to what is coming from the hops. The hops are bringing these compounds called 3SH, 4MSP, 3S4 and Paul. All of these are, are really just different hydrocarbon structures linked to the SH group, which is what defines that as a thiol and they're recognized with different aroma properties. So 3SH is the passion fruit, the grapefruit aroma that we get, and the, big, the biggest kind of signature of thiol aroma we get out of beer. And it's also one of, that's extremely popular, common in New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc wine. So if you're familiar with that kind of passion fruit, juicy, thiol-y note out of a New, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc wine, that is similar to what this compound is gonna come through in isolation in beer. Hops are bringing thiol aroma in. It's, it's making a huge aroma impact, but it's not an isolated aroma. Sensory is extremely complex. So you're getting all the other hop compounds, the monoterpene alcohols, the hop esters, all the other survivables that, that make it through the whirlpool, but also some of the dry hop aromas from hops. So thiols themselves are more of an enhancement of a, an overall tropical note and fruity aroma in beer. but. They're hard to kind of pick out in isolation. I think the one that probably comes out the most is 4MSP, which is kind of that signature caddy aroma that you can get out of Simcoe sometimes. That's definitely one of those styles that comes through a little bit more in isolation. When we're talking about biotransformation, we're really referring to how the yeast is kind of influencing the aroma compounds that you traditionally get out of, out of hops. For more on maximizing flavor and aroma in beer, Click the link below.